All right, so we have another forces question. Um, you can pause the video and give the question a read. All right, hopefully you've read the question. So let's move on towards the explanation and the solution of the question. So this is a trolley and the trolley is basically being pulled back through this elastic string. And this elastic spring or string, it's basically connected to these three pins, Y, Z, and X. The trolley is then finally released. And what would happen if the trolley is released? It will start moving in the forward direction in the direction of B. This is what's happening. Now the question is asking us to find the force that's accelerating the trolley in the direction of P. Basically this force, the P force is what we need to find. The force that is causing the trolley to be propelled in the direction of P. This is the force that we need to find. And what else is given in the question? We are also given the tension. The tension in the elastic, which is 4 Newton. Let's draw the tension forces. So these are my two elastics in the upward and downward direction. And the direction of tension, remember, is always directed away from the object. Our object is the trolley. So the tension should be moving away from the object in both cases. Now I will resolve the tension forces into its components, the horizontal and vertical components. Starting with this tension, this would be the horizontal component, this would be the vertical component. Very similarly, we can get the components for this tension down here. And it's gonna be the same. This is the horizontal component. And this is the vertical component. All right, so we are not concerned with the vertical components right now because we need to find the horizontal force. So let's just ignore these vertical components. So the horizontal force P to the right side must be equal to these two forces. And these two forces are T cosine theta. Let me say this is an angle over here, which is theta. Let's call this angle as theta. So the two horizontal components are gonna be T cosine theta, theta, T cosine theta. And this P force is equal to these two forces. So I can have an equation. P is equal to T cosine theta plus T cosine theta. And remember the tension was already given in the question, four Newton. So the equation would become four cosine theta plus four cosine theta. Now we have a problem, we don't know this angle theta. If we somehow find the angle theta, our question will be solved. So look at the diagram and think about how we can get the angle theta. We can apply a little trigonometry to get the angle theta. I drew a triangle separately over here. See, this is 50 millimeters, 50 millimeters, and 40 millimeters, I got 40 millimeters by actually dividing 80 by two. And I got a little right angled triangle. Now by looking at this right angle triangle, I can find the angle theta by applying trigonometric ratios. So we can apply the trigonometric ratio sine. Sine theta is equal to 
40 divided by 50. Theta is equal to sine inverse 40 divided by 50. Solving and we will get theta as 53.13 degrees. Okay, so I finally got the angle theta and my question is almost solved. Moving back to the equation above and simply substitute these values for the angle theta and solve the equation. Let's do that. So I'm writing it over here. B is equal to 4 cosine 53.13 plus 4 cosine 53.13. Solving and you should get 4.8 Newton. And that's it. That is your answer, which is option C.